Hey guys, this is a TI C2000 F28 0049C engine. Now I connect uh, this pin to this pin P17 to a J1 one pin. So this connection is to allow you to experience the ADC PWM. Now this is the entire uh, CCS project. Introduce from the beginning. So this is the EVM, and you need to have the launch pad 49C and a CC spare channel will be a 20 something, and you need to install the C2000 where this say the 5.1 on the 2023 year. Now this is the connection I made to wireless two pin and this is the windows device manager you need to check your xds110 is there to allow you to uh, use in a setup again this is is the main source you connect to your pc and the pc will have the power to power on this evm now you need to go to the view and the target configuration to specify your CCXML and select the XDS110 select your part number 49C and save it and check your JTAG connection so once your JTAG connection is okay it will show you the success and you need to double check the XDS110 USB is there now import a 49c basic example to read this document choose the part number and you will have the mt project now let me show you how to launch the ccs ml go to this place you just create it and click the launch and you will find that the tag is running at this moment the cpu is idle so this show you a disconnect and you can connect it again so this is the entire setup how it's working now now uh, the next step, step will guide you how to add in a code compile a code load a code and debug it so please click this the button to terminate the JTAG then read this document to experience the EPWN, ADC and DAC and connect those two pins I just show you the zero line is those two this one and this one and import this MT project by having this space and uh, you can rename your project file name and then double check your C2000 where and this country is there then you can choose the grand version first so let's build a code and uh, debug the code after you put in the, the document from this the ADC, the EPW, and DAC. Now, go to the view. Start to debug the code. Debug as. Then, before the debug session is established, uh, go to the tools, grab single time to set your ADC equation value. Those values are just in negative document. Now, you can start running the code. And you can set your breakpoint here to this ADC ISR, and you will find the ADC is running. So, this is the entire thing. And now I'm showing and debugging in the debugging stage. You can see I free running the ISR, 
you will see the ATC batteries upside, up and down. Okay, this is a lovely ATC battery showing on the CCS graph. And if you want to know more uh, detailed precision, ATC battery, you need to use the scope to experience it. Thanks for your watching. Bye bye.